everybody. I like Dr. Nick from The Simpsons. <laughs> and welcome back to or welcome to my channel my Shack and today we're going to be doing my filmathon round two what was this today we're gonna to be doing my filmathon round two women in film tbr let's get in there so today is the first day of the filmathon and ideally i would have loved to have got up this video before the start of the actual readathon but it is still the first and you can still take part it is not too late i will be going through the a little bit of what the prompts are and the whole thing with the readathon but you can go ahead and watch my announce video which does have a lot more information in rather than just the prompts and what i'll be reading so i'll link the original announce video down below for your watching pleasure but in short the filmathon is a readathon created by yours truly this time we are reading for a whole month so we're reading throughout the month of april to celebrate women in film the society has kind of forgotten our successful women in film and we have a couple of reading prompts to do so we also have a group book that is completely optional but i'm going to try and incorporate that into my tbr somehow you can also go ahead and follow filmathon on twitter and instagram at underscore filmathon and also hashtag filmathon for any progress in your reading or watching experience that you make i would love 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 to see your tbrs if you're taking part and what you get up to during the month i'll also be trying to do some reading sprints every single sunday so definitely sundays but i also will try and do some like impromptu sprints as well so make sure in the week to also check back on the twitter i'll probably announce the sprints probably maybe like an hour or two before that they actually start so you can get ready and prepared and stuff but i will try my best and we definitely will be reading together at some point you can guarantee on the sunday anyway without further ado um this is what yours truly your hostess's tbr for film with round two looks like the first prompt is for for director Catherine Bigelow and the prompt I picked for this one was to read a book about war because a lot of Catherine Bigelow's films surround by the themes of war. I originally wanted to go the Shadowhunters book for this one but I decided not to die during a readathon so I decided to go with a little hyped book that is about an actual war that is This is How You Lose the Time War by Max Gladstone. I originally saw this in a video from Clockwork Reader and the way that she described this and how she thought it was really good despite being so short I just fell in love with the concept and I bought it there and then. <laughs> from what I understand of this, we are coming from two perspectives, one called red and one called blue. Our main characters, red and blue, are on opposite sides of a time war. Something to do with time travel, something to do with like space and time and all that good stuff. I love being nerdy, it's so fun. And basically they fall in love on different sides of a time war. And obviously that's how you lose it. I'm kind of okay with not knowing more than that about the story. I'm still really equally excited. And I might vlog my experience of this because it's quite hyped and I think it'll be quite fun. <laughs> the next prompt I'm gonna be fulfilling is for director and documentary filmmaker, Ava DuVernier. Prompt for Ava was to read a book written by a black author that includes a fantastical element. Taking inspiration from A Wrinkle in Time, this prompt does, I just spoke like Yoda. I just spoke like Yoda. This prompt takes inspiration from her film Wrinkle in Time, which is the very first movie by not only a woman, but a black woman to have a, uh, why are you clapping? To have a budget over a hundred million dollars or billion dollars. It's a lot of fucking money, it's unimaginable. For this prompt, I'm gonna be going with a book that I have wanted to read for a very long time since its release, and that is A Song Below Water. This is by black author Bethany C. Morrow, and it's basically a fantastical tale, I think it's magical realism, I can't actually be sure, but it's definitely some type of fantasy book, um, about sirens, black sirens and mermaids, I believe. The synopsis inside the dust jacket says, A Song Below Water is the story for today's readers, a captivating modern fantasy about black mermaids, friendship, and self-discovery set against challenges of today's racism and sexism and beyond exciting and it seems quite apt that i'm reading this with a filmathon because obviously women directors they all go through sexism in the film industry but add racism on top of that this just feels like it is very fitting next i'm going to be combining two of the prompts and they are for greta gerwig which was to read a contemporary and also for fatima begum which was to read a book by an indian author i have wanted to read this and it's been on my shelves for fucking ages literally for since the beginning of time, right? Since the beginning of the time war. And that is When Dimple Meant Rishi by Sandy Eminon. This came out a long, long time ago and it was quite hyped on booktube for a time and I put it on my TBR and I just never read it, I never got round to it. And now I finally have it, I am really excited to get into it. So from what I understand, this is a contemporary like love story about Dimple. Dimple would really like to go to university and kind of like break out of the traditional expectations her parents have of her. And then we also follow Rishi, who is really good looking and rich and thinks that he has Dimple all figured out, but she has other plans for him. On the back here it says, Dimple and Rishi may think they have each other figured out, but sometimes when opposites clash, love works even harder to prove itself in the most unexpected ways. I'm gonna love this. <laughs> 
I'm also going to be combining the next two challenges for this book as well. And these are for D. Reese, which is to read a book with a hard hitting message. And also for the Maya de Ren prompt, which is to read a book with something to do with like dance on the cover or in the plot or both. I've seen a lot of people's TBRs that are including this book for the, the Maya de Ren prompt. And it's kind of accidentally became another like group book. And I'm really excited for us all to read it together and see what we all think. And that is none other than Tiny Pretty Things by Danielle Clayton and Sonia Charapitra. So this I believe has an element of dance on the cover. So on the cover here we have those little like things that people twirl. What is this? More elegantly than this. The things that like ballet dancers twirl while they're doing a performance basically. Tiny Pretty Things follows a very elite dance school in New York. In particular we follow characters Betty, June and Gigi who find themselves kind of like doing anything they can to be this like perfect ballerina and that also means sabotaging other people that they know but it's only a matter of time before this all crumbles beneath them and they truly recognise what it means to be a ballerina. So yeah this very much so fits the Maya Duren prompt actually quite well as well. I've heard there's a lot of talk of eating disorders and sexual abuse in this book maybe maybe I'm getting the wrong book and like, I'm getting confused. I've heard that there's quite a lot of mention of eating disorders and mental health and just struggles so trigger warning before going in. A lot of us are reading this for this prompt and for this readathon and I'd hate to like make everyone stumble into something that's going to be really triggering. This is definitely going to be hard hitting and therefore it, it fits with the DB's prompt as well. Next on my TBR is the prompt for Nia da Costa which is to read a horror book written by a black author. For this one I have quite a hyped book that's I don't know if it's classed as like a classic or anything but I've heard a lot of people talking about this and when I was googling around for some suggestions this book came up a lot and that is Fledgling by Octavia E. Butler. This one I believe is about black vampires and I am so ready for this. So we follow Shori who is a girl who is finds herself just running from something in the forest. She's got really bad amnesia. She doesn't really know where she is but she doesn't know that she is a fledgling vampire who is thirsty for her next feed. On the back of the book it says, and in the final apocalyptic battle, her survival will depend on whether all humans are bigots or all bigots are human. It doesn't really have to be scary, but I absolutely adore vampires and like the whole concept of them and what they represent and how they've like grown over time in the media and the way that we talk about them. And I'm just really excited to see. I'm just, that's just a theme in all of these. I'm just really excited, but particularly for this one. And the last prompt I will be filling on my Filmathon TBR is for Patty Jenkins. And the prompt for Patty Jenkins is to read a book that features around a female superhero of any kind. It can also be super if you really are picky. <laughs> Obviously this is because Patty Jenkins directed both of the Wonder Woman films and what better way to celebrate this prompt and Patty Jenkins as a director than I to read a Wonder Woman comic. <laughs> this is one I have received most recently. I haven't read this yet. It's called Wonder Woman The Greatest Victories. I'm guessing it's gonna have a really good recap of Wonder Woman's story and her greatest moments in battle and her just shining as a superhero. I have picked eight books on this TBR because I believe I could probably read about two books per week but obviously there are shorter ones and longer ones but I really would like to get to the group book which is Delay Rays of a Star by Amanda Lee Co. This just kind of rounds out my TBR. It's not really mandatory if I don't get to this, it's not the end of the world but I would like to read this as the host as I just really, it just fits with the prompt and I really would like to read it. Delayed Rays of a Star follows three of the biggest people in cinema at the time. So we follow Marlene who is a cross-dressing bisexual in Hollywood, Lenny who is the Fiora's favourite filmmaker in Germany and Wong who is tired of being killed in movies by her white counterparts. I particularly chose this book because of its meanings and we've got loads of representation in here and I think everyone can get something out of it. Anyway, those are the books I plan as your host to read for the film Thon round two women in film let me know either in the comments or on the hashtag what you're going to be reading for this round of the filmathon if you're taking part why not if you're not <laughs> don't forget to smash the like button and the subscribe button if you want to keep up with more filmathon stuff from me and yeah i will see you next week for next week's video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you then but until then i hope that you enjoy any books that you pick up or any productive activity that you manage to do outwards are really hard and i make it harder for myself every time goodbye <laughs>